Well, hello everyone. I am Walter from Paraguay. I identify as non-binary. I do not identify as a male or female. I started doing drag and through drag I got to explore so many sides of my own gender expression. I realized like there was so many build up trauma and things that I've been like dealing with since I was a child where I was constantly being told that I couldn't do this or that because of my gender, the one that I was born with. I felt very limited throughout my entire life until I started drag. Just let myself get free, set myself free in a way, set some things that like some parts of myself that I was like keeping and I was trying to like hide the entire time and let it out, which is why I wanted to start this project, Drag and Gender. I hope you guys will enjoy it, and I hope you guys will learn. How do you identify like your gender? Uh, my name is Justin. Uh, my Chinese name is uh, Fang Chenji. I'm from Taiwan, uh, I'm from Taipei. I identify as a cisgender male. 我叫江伟豪，我来自台北台湾。我认为生理上我是个男生。My Chinese name is Wang Kaixiang and my English name is Danny. I'm from New Taipei City, Taiwan. What did you know about drag before we started this project? 都是那种，就是会化很浓的妆，基本上，而且会做那种，呃，drag，基本上都是。男性，然后他们都会呃变装成女性的样子，然后大部分我看到的都是那种穿的很性感，对，衣服就是穿很小的那种，或者是表演的时候就是会做那种catwalking，对，然后然后所以就是那个时候就觉得，嗯，这是可
a queen, only drag queen. I don't understand like, 那里还有 drag king， 它就是 gay people， 然后比较女性化的一个 drag， 大概是这样。What do you think you will learn from this experience? 应该说是去了解这一群人吧，对，因为他不是我们日常生活会注意的去靠近或者是会接触到的群，这就是我呃我的 expectation 吧。What are your expectations for this project? 我希望能学习到更多关于 drag 的。事情，然后就可以分辨出 drag 跟变装之间的差别。What are your expectations for this project? I'm expecting that the project can shed a light on、um, to the drag industry and artists to more people. I believe all people will be able to gather fantastic first-hand information and knowledge. What are your final expectations for this whole experience? I want to understand this. 一群我完全不会接触到的一个族群，然后就是很想真的知知道他们就是对性别的认同是怎么样的一个认同。What were your expectations for this project?、Mm, my expectation is that like I want to、mm, know more about this drag culture through、so、this project, since I don't know anything about it, and maybe hopefully I can. It can change my perspective on drag culture. So I'm Jocelyn. My name is Ung Dai Lei, and I'm 25 years old. I was born here in Taipei. Hello, I am Walter. I am from Paraguay. So how do you identify gender-wise? Okay, so I'm non-binary.、Uh, it means that I don't conform to any. Genders. May I ask, how do you see yourself, your gender? Yeah, I、not. identify as non-binary,、um, which basically means that I do not identify as a male or female. I sometimes identify as either one or sometimes none. How does your gender identity and expression influence your drag persona? It doesn't really. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm not as flamboyant as I am、uh, out of drag, like in drag.、Uh, like, uh, because I'm more, like, I'm, I dress in like more feminine clothing out of drag, I guess.、Um, but like in drag, I, I do like very flamboyant. Looks and everything in colors. I like like having、uh, a whole matchy matchy color. But I guess there's still like parts of it, like my my quirkiness, my、um, love of color matching. <laughs> Does your non-binary gender identity influence your drag? I think so. I feel like more just very willing to like explore different ways of trans. Out of drag, I mean, as a non-binary person, do you do you often face like stereotypes of the my the binary world? Sometimes it's just it can be scary. Like in Paris, it's not as safe as Taipei. It can can it can be、uh, scary when you're like woman looking, because、uh, like <laughs> I experienced like sexism when people read me as female and. I experience homo like transphobia when people、uh, see me as like、uh, cross dressing. I don't know. So yeah, I have like I experience everything. <laughs> so it's quite interesting. So how does your culture, your French culture, influence your gender expression? It's mostly through YouTube channels that spoke about like LGBT subjects when I was young. Um, and some of them were French channels, actually. So yeah, maybe in a way that's how. How does your culture influence your gender expression? The queer lesbian culture here is very is can be a bit binary, like in terms of, like butch and femme binary. 
I don't feel like like obsessed with it. Like I need people to know that I'm queer or something. Because it's, it's just so obvious. How's your culture? Culture. Culture. Yeah, in, yeah, affects your gender expression. Uh, it affected my gender expression quite a lot. I am from a country that is quite conservative, as I like, I'm from Paraguay. In general, like I in Paraguay, I don't think I would have been brave enough to start doing drag. Um, because of Taiwan, like how Taiwanese people are so accepting. And the culture in Taiwan is, in general, a lot more open than my country. That's when I felt like, yeah, I can try it. Hi, so I'm Desillusion, or Desillusion, and I'm a king from Paris. And I came here in Taipei to study, and I do drag here also. Hi, I'm Existential Crisis. People call me Exi. I'm from here, from Taiwan, and I was born and raised in Taipei. Hello, I am Wicked Patricia. Wicked Allison Patricia, actually, like, as in a full name. <laughs> How does uh, your gender out of drag influence your drag? Okay, so out of drag, I'm non binary uh, and I consider myself as a trans person. And so um, I guess it's a way for me to. To, is that a thing like to reappropriate uh, a gender that we forced on me when I was born? But also, it's just I like to make fun of men. How does your drag influence your gender? I think I've just gotten more comfortable with both ends of the spectrum. How does uh, when you are in drag? How does it influence your gender expression? Starting drag actually helped me discover my own gender identity. When I started drag, when I was able to like experiment with like dressing feminine and also dressing masculine on my day to day or and then I realized like I, I don't need to decide. How does your culture influence your drag? Trans identity is coming like it's really a hot topic right now and uh, it's still people are still like very transphobic. Uh, yeah and so it's not as Catholic as it used to be, but you can still sense the history of <laughs> the Catholic homophobia and transphobia <laughs> all around, <laughs> for sure. When you are in drag, do you ever feel like you are facing those stereotypes? Definitely, like, times when I have, like, for example, not found and just show in my chest, or when I wear like something more feminine and sexy, I wonder if people think like that's not a drag king or something, or like you're not masculine enough, or that if somebody sees a drag king show for the first time and sees me, that they would be confused about what being a drag king is. What would you say is the relationship between gender and the art form of drag? Taking apart, it's all about taking apart what has been given to you, I think, uh, for most people. It's like, you've been, like people have, have told them, oh, you're born this way, and it's all about, no, like I can experiment with like, all the things. It's not that serious. We're just like, cross-dressing monsters, and we, like, it's, <laughs> it's not that serious. <laughs> Don't be scared. No one, no one gives a shit about it. <laughs> it's, like, it's like you can think a lot about it, but when it comes down to it, it's like it's, it's we're having fun. And, yeah. What do you think about the idea of getting in drag? So when I proposed the idea of putting you all in drag, what did you think? What was your reaction? I'm like, okay, I can, I can try it because I think. 這算是一種 uh, What do you feel about the idea of getting in drag? 
我觉得是一件很酷、很新鲜的事，因为之前从来没有尝试过。What do you feel about the idea of getting in drag? At first, 其实我一开始有去了解 what is drag performance， 我还有一点点小排斥。我对性别的认同也比较单一，就是我觉得嗯。I'm a male. He and she's a female. 但是我不入地狱，谁入地狱？就还是尝试一下。I'm Veronica. Yeah. 大家好，我现在是 Wicked Aster. My name is Justin. 我叫张伟豪，呃、um, ，A.K.A. Wicked Dylan. And I'm from Taiwan. I'm Wicked Honey. So how do you feel? 很酷的体验吧，但是我觉得 I feel like I'm going to a musical. What is the difference that you found mostly? I think I don't have much difference. Actually, I think it's the same. But 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 it's the same. It's a near experience I've ever had. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> wow, that's something I've never imagined. I've tried. I will try my life. Yeah, cool. What would you say to people that has never tried drag? Yeah, I may say that you can try once, at least once. At least once. Just keep your mind blank. How do you feel like if you went out into public right now, looking like this? How would you feel? Or like, how would you react to people coming to you? I think it won't be able to recognize me. Just as I'm walking out, it won't be able to recognize me. Just as I'm washing my face, it won't be able to recognize who I am. It seems a bit awkward, but it's okay. If you went out in public like this, how would you feel? Yeah, I'm not afraid to show people what I am now. It's pretty cool for me, or even for them, I think. How do you feel after going through the entire process of getting in drag? I think this is a very new experience. I feel like I'm very different. I'm not like my usual self. I don't think I'm going to wear my hair. And the first time I wear my hair with blue hair, 感觉很酷，然后也没化过妆，第一次化感觉变得很不太像我，像另外一个人。How do you feel after going through the entire process or of getting into drag? Yeah, pretty cool. Looks looks kind of like dark. I look kind of evil. Do you feel any difference between like you in drag and out of drag? I think I、uh, still look like I know it's, it's still me. Like I can still recognize myself. But it's definitely different. Yeah, like you will never see me with this face walking outside. Tell us about your experience doing this project. Like, what you've learned. Because actually, drag king and drag queen, 就是会，其实背后都很多很多，每个人都有不同的故事。所以我会觉得，我把它视作为一个表演的形式。我是会以这新的角度去看，经过这次的体验。然后我还蛮，就是鼓励大家可以去多多认识这些人，他们都很有趣。After everything that we've done, like the interviews and all of that, what have you learned from this experience? 嗯，我学到了，虽然他们就 drag 表演者或许或许看起来会比较，嗯、呃，跟我们的行为不一样，他们会 drag 的时候会比较疯狂。但是其实他们私底下也都很和蔼可亲，然后也都是很好的人。What did you learn from this experience？ 直男也可以，也可以做 drag， 就是就算他有女朋友，你也还是一样可以去做 drag。所以大家都可以做 drag， 也不分 drag queen 或是 drag king。How you feel right now, Wicked Veronica? Tell the class. Don't see people by their face, by their appearance. By their gender or whatever, yeah, cause they are not. You are not seeing everything from them, they, and they are not showing everything to you. So, just 
whatever. Yeah, just be yourself. What would you tell the class? And what would you want to tell people that are watching this? After getting in drag for the first time, do you feel like you can understand drag artists now? I don't think I understand them, but I understand what they what they have to like like the process they have to go through before the performance and you know just putting on makeup. Yeah. It takes a lot of work.